Welcome to your midweek update. I'm your host, Paul, from KCTK Radio. This is the program where we give you a quick update about what people are talking about this week. We examine the latest trending Google searches for today so you know what everyone is talking about. Now, I'm not claiming these are the most important things that you should be talking about. I'm just saying this is what people are talking about in the world that, so you know and we can do that and everything. Special guest this time is Jack. Jack, welcome. I've never had a guest on this podcast before. I'm uh, I'm the first the first guest. I'm honored. I'm honored. Well, that is fantastic. Yes. You know how you can do this. I don't know if you know how this program works, but uh, go ahead and say it. Say, on with the countdown. On with the countdown. Number five. Okay, so number five is there's a lot of stuff this week on Google Trending that deals with the Olympics. That's what I was going to guess. I was thinking to myself, I would imagine the Olympics would be a large, large topic in yeah. this so, current So number period. five is Kelly Clark, who is the Olympic snowboarding champ. The 17-year-old? Um, let's see. Let's, let's take I a... I know that there was a big deal about a 17-year-old who was getting a thing. Uh, getting a gold, thing, getting a a thing, getting one of those shiny things that people wear on. Getting the thing with, and then the thing. Um, now, do you exactly. do you have any desire at all to be an Olympian? No, I think well, Summer Olympics maybe. Mm-hmm. I'd work to do something in the, in the Summer Olympics, but I kind of think that the Winter Olympics kind of suck. Yeah, because it's I'm not the a winter. fan. Nobody, I, nobody really likes the cold. The I don't cold, really like it either. The cold is just ugh. so Kelly Kelly Clark is the Olympic snowboarder, and um, she is she's not she's she, sorry she's of age for you. So if that she, I know you want her to be young and everything like that. I was just trying to get some. Now I'm using I'm using Google Trends. Do you understand how that works? If it were my guess, uh-huh. it would be a website made by Google, right? And it tells you what the biggest things being searched up are, right? Now, I thought about using Huli. Would Huli give me the same thing? Is this, is this a Silicon Valley reference? I was going to tell you. I I'm, I'm caught up. I rewatched oh, Silicon okay, good. Valley. Good. Per your request, any thoughts on this season? This latest season? Yeah. Um, I'm kind of happy they got rid of T.J. Miller. Yeah. I mean, T.J. Miller's funny. I guess it's coming back soon, isn't it? Uh, ne- 25th of next month. Oh. Well, I watched it again per your request, and I'm a big Hooli fan. Did I'll... you just rewatch season four or mm-hmm. every single season? The, the last season. Okay. Everyone should watch it. I suggest number it. Number four. So number four is Anastasia Brizogova. Brizgolva. Okay? That sounds... Do you know who that is? Spanish. No, she is an Olympic. Um, she's an Olympian from Russia, and she does the curling, the curling, and she does it with her husband. What the hell is curling? Curling is you know when they they throw the rock down and then they sweep real fast. <laughs> That's a real thing. Yeah, I didn't know that was part of the Olympics. That's awesome. Yeah, and I thought it, that was like a really funny sport that you do on uh, what's it called on the boat on. Cruise ships. It, it looks it looks like a blast. I think if I was ever wanted to be in the Olympics, that's the thing I would do. Now, uh, that's and, specific. When you say Olympics, you mean specifically the Winter Olympics? The, no, or I'm all, around. all Olympics. I'd want to do the curling because it's cool. And she um, is 21 years old, and she looks like Anna, uh, Angelina Jolie. She's gorgeous, mm. and her husband is her teammate, and they're real cute. And I'm sure a lot of people were just kind of googling her. Just simply for, um, you know, nothing more than just learning about the curling. You know, it probably had nothing to do with the way she looked or anything. Would you, you uh, know? Would you do me a quick favor sure. and spell her name? So sure. I can see what she looks like. Her last name is B R Y B R Y Z Z G A L V. Oh, I'm sorry, G A L O V A. So Got it's it. Briz Galova. Oh, she fell over, apparently. She did? She, uh, uh well. Yeah, stunning Russian curling athlete who captivated the internet fell. Yeah, she just fell over but, while she was doing it. But this show has highlighted to me how sick the internet is. We know why everyone was Googling her, because she's a hot piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Okay, now here's something that you probably can help me with. I'm glad you're here. It is Kingdom Come Deliverance Reviews. 
Kingdom Come Deliverance. I guess that is an online game. Do you know anything about it? Never heard of it. What? What? I'm a big video game person, too. I work. Have you, you've never heard of a game called Kingdom Come Deliverance? No, no. Let me let me look this up real quick. Well, I guess it's out now, and people are, are just basically ape shit over it. <laughs> you know, they're excited. They're all up in it, and I don't know if it's getting good reviews or bad reviews because has, I've never even heard of has, the game before. It's 7 out of 10, so... So it's a good game? Um, I mean, it's an av- it's a de- pretty good game. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an action role-playing game developed by War Horse, War Horse Studios mm-hmm. and published by Deep Silver for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. It is set in the medieval kingdom of Bohemia. In a pi- uh, I see a little silhouette of a man. Do they sing that all the time? They don't. Okay. Actually, actually, you know what? I don't know. I don't know because I've never played the game. Okay. Um, an imperial state of the Holy Roman Empire with a focus on historical accurate and realistic content. It was released worldwide on February 13th, 2018. So you're just kind of living through the Holy Roman Empire. You're probably, from the looks of it, you happen to be just some grunt in the army. And maybe you have some... Well, I great th- story in the end, but that's what I it's thought main for about. sure you would know what that was, but I guess you don't. I Let's, I'm I gonna take a it. quick break here. We're gonna tell you about one of our sponsors. Looking for a new set of wheels, but must trade in your old ones first? Check out Aaron's number one automobile buy and sell online at www.aaronbuyandsell.com. We've got cars of all shapes and sizes. Listed on the web, including vintage cars, family vans, and sports cars. Whether you're trading in Old Faithful or buying for the first time, you'll sure to find a real gem on our lot. Test drive your dream car today at Aaron's number one buy and sell. Aaron's number one automotive buy and sell, where you can get the vehicle you want today. And use promo code your midweek update at checkout. Number two. So oh, interesting. N- number two is, and this is a, this is another Olympic thing, but it's just a terrible thing. Is Emily Sweeney? Emily Sweeney was on the luge. Emily Sweeney. You know what the luge is? It's it's just basically on your back, and you're you're hauling ass as fast as you can over two hundred miles an hour down the the ice track. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ, that looks dangerous. Yeah, well, it was dangerous because she went sideways and then hit the side of it. And it was oh. very scary. I can imagine everyone is on the internet uh, googling it to see what the wreck was like. Because, I mean, would you, like to see. I mean, do you like, like to see stuff like that? Yeah, um, I'm one of those people that will look up that watch videos of car wrecks. Yeah, and uh, people like high school fights. Does that make you feel bad though that you do that? No, I think it's. Uh, I'm. Given, given the creator, the person who made the video views, I'm making okay. money. <laughs> because I watched it and I felt terrible, but then it's good to see that she's doing as good as expected in the... Um, Will she continue participating in the Olympics? No, no. I mean, she's in the hospital. Oh, she's done though. She's in the hospital and... Well, you know, A for effort for her. Um, let's see if there's any other update. Oh, she says she's fine, but boy, it's, it's a scary thing and... Uh, I, what, the whole idea of this this podcast is to come up with these things and come up with something funny to do, but it's hard and things like that. I guess maybe it's really sick that we enjoyed watching that yeah. so much. I feel like these night, these upcoming weeks with the midweek review, it'll be a lot of uh, Olympic stuff. Probably. How long does the Olympics go on for? Two and or three weeks? One. Well, the number one, when I looked at it earlier, was the Olympic... Uh, Sean, what's his name? The Flying Tomato? Dude, I got no idea. Oh, God. What's that guy's name? I have to look it up here. Sean. He, he's not even on the list anymore. Wow. Sean White. And he, he's won. Between him and I, we've won two gold medals together. And he's been in like 15. Oh, that guy. He's been, he, yeah, he was, a big, he was a big famous American yeah. snowboarder. He's been in like 15. Um, Olympics and he's he what? thinks he's all what? a big deal. What did you say at the beginning? You Between me and him together, we have two Olymp- gold Olympic oh, medals. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I think he's overrated, and he was number one, and I'm glad he isn't anymore. The number one uh, thing is Mardi Gras. What? That's their name? No, today is Mardi Gras. Do you know what Mardi Gras is? Um, some people celebrate New Orleans. Well, Mardi Gras means 
in French, Fat Tuesday, and it's the day before Lent. Now, you're Catholic. I know you got confirmed. You were, had a great, great sponsor. sponsor. Great we hope you with that. And so tomorrow yeah. is Ash Wednesday, which starts Lent. And so a lot of people are looking up different things about Mardi Gras. Uh, and, you know, it's a huge thing in New Orleans. Now, I went to New Orleans recently. You didn't go with us. I why did you, not. Why not? Because I'm... Who wants to go to a place where you go to drink if you're not old enough to oh, drink? Oh, 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 oh. That's right. You're young I'm a, and everything. Oh, we whippersnapper, as the old people put it. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we call it Fat Tuesday because it's a time to eat a lot because tomorrow is the time to start fasting for Lent. Yeah. So. Don't you fast and give up something? Yeah. Are you giving up anything? No. Well, I'm giving up Catholicism. <laughs> So thanks a lot for joining us for the midweek <laughs> update. And now you know. Now you can go to work tomorrow and say, I know what's going on. Yeah. I know the five top things. And we threw did in. Did you hear about that thing at the Olympics? Yeah. Well, I sure I heard did. it on the midweek review. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. So join us next time, won't you? You know, I think that was our best show we've ever done of this series. This has been a KCTK production. Produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctk.radio12345.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you. Are we still live?